Day seven of the Sacred Insights, a practical journey to a new way of living. I highly recommend that you are taking notes and jotting down these questions because they're coming to you in sequential order and giving, giving you the sacred insight, this divine path to a new way of living. My name is Sarah Sparks. I am a divine channel through which God speaks, and I speak to the masses the guided message on pure love. So what does that mean? I allow divine to speak through me. Today's conversation and sacred insight is around the power of your feeling nature. You've seen a ripple, right? Now imagine that you throw a rock into the water and it creates that ripple. We've seen it, yes? Kind of like this, eh? <laughs> People have been asking me, by the way, this is this is a fan that I purchased on Amazon. People are wondering if it's like a sacred thing or something and it's spiritual. I say it's a fan. It's a decorative thing. I like it. It's there. <laughs> All right. So you've seen the ripple and at the center of the ripple, you you throw this rock in. The rock represents your emotion. So when you throw that emotion into your energy. You are in the water. You are that water. You are the energy source. Well, divine is, but you're, you're one with divine. Imagine that, that you know this. All right. <laughs> so you throw this rock in and let's say the rock is happiness. I know. Oh, and that, that happiness just keeps rippling out and out and out and out. And it's bumping up against other things that are our are, are happiness. Woo, it just keeps going out. Now, let's say, for instance, that the, the rock that you threw in is a little bit pissed off and you are, you got some, you got some emotion happening that you're like, Ooh, sister. So you throw that, you gotta throw that rock in that you feel a little bit rude. And then that keeps rippling out and out and out and out and out. Now, once you throw the rock in, you can't really change the ripple, but you get to throw another rock in, which, which creates another ripple from your center, changing your frequency, changing your vibration. You change your frequency, change your vibration, and you vibrate at what you really desire. And it will have no other option. What you desire will have no other option but to come to you because like attracts like. You are energy. You are frequency. You are vibration. But it starts with that rock. So what you're going to throw in? Are you going to be intentionally throwing in some pissed off vibes or are you going to be throwing in some happiness, some love, some, some peace, some joy? I'll give you an example. Today, sit down because divine's giving me the sacred insight of the power of your feeling nature, Sarah Sparks. So I sit down. I'm like, how do I want to feel today? I want to be vibrating in love. I am love. Okay. Connecting with the vibration of love expanding out, rippling out, 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 out. Now my thoughts go and my actions go to the frequency and the vibration of love. Hmm. I want to do my hair a little bit differently. I want to put on some makeup. I want to get dressed a little bit differently because I'm vibrating at love. When I'm feeling a little bit frustrated, frustrated, frustration, tired, worn out, I'm not wanting to like get all snazzied up. I want to put on my leggings and a sweatshirt, put my hair in a bun and that's okay too. But you have a choice. So do you want to be vibrating and spreading that ripple of happiness and love and joy and all so forth and so on of abundance and opulence? And or do you want to be spreading the and letting that ripple go out of frustration, tired, worn out, pulled in many different directions. It's up to you, but you have the power to choose. You have the power to decide. You can change your frequency and you can change your entire life. Cheers, love.